Well, here we go. Uh, chart plotter in. Uh, kind of went the way I expected with a little hiccup, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but first, just a, 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 a personal note about it. Um, when I, I got the device when I was uh, running the product planning group at Magellan, and I had uh, told myself that if I did get it, I was going to make sure it ended up in a sailboat. Uh, at the time, I was in the midst of a long uh, boatless stretch, and so it took a couple of years, but uh, here we are, and I'm glad it's in, and it's going to be serving some uh, good uh, purposes. Uh, probably not as much on Lake Harriet as it will on some of the other ventures, but uh, we'll make sure that it gets some good use. Uh, the, the other thing about it was that and I mentioned some issues with the installs. Uh, you know, being part of the, the company that, that uh, created this thing, I, I uh, uh, felt a little bit uh, unhappy with the way that uh, the install went. Um, you know, from a product planning perspective and some of the things that we did, we didn't make it very easy on, uh, on the people at all. And you can, you can tell it was Magellan's first and last uh, uh, bulkhead mount chart plotter and uh, some of the inexperience that we had as an organization showed. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this is, this is a, a, um, a, basically my spare of this unit. And it's designed to either go into a, a bracket that mounts it on a, on, the, on, the, on a flat surface or it can be mounted into uh, the bulkhead. Now, uh, two things that we did wrong. Uh, the first thing that we did is that uh, we didn't supply a full-size template for the mounting holes and the, and the, and the cutout hole. Uh, we supplied a, a drawing, but it, it was to scale, but it wasn't the right size. And so you ended up having to draw that yourself in order to make the drawing. It was, it was a terrible task, and it made the line up the holes real pain in the rear end. Um, and speaking of the holes, if you look at where the bosses for these for the screws are, they were incredibly, incredibly close to the to the, where the cutout was, and that just didn't need to be. There was a lot of room for the you know, for the bosses for these studs to come in. It would have given you a lot more, uh, made it a lot more reassuring when you're cut drilling these holes so close to this big hole in the deck. And so I ended up having to reinforce that from the back the back side. It took about twice as long as I thought it was going to, and didn't make me very happy from a, from a product planning perspective. But the good part is in is that it's 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 in uh, looks great. Um, the, uh, the the attachment is mechanical, so I've got some silicon sealant around there just to keep the water out, and that should be uh, good to go for as long as I own the boat. Um, the other good thing about the chart plotting, or two things. One is that I'm going to use it not just for, for charting, obviously, but it's also my knot log uh, on the boat because I don't have a, um, um, an impeller-driven uh, knot log. And the, the other thing that I'm using it for is that you notice it's got the, uh, the, the location of the boat set up on it right now on the screen, if it's readable. Um, that is also streaming uh, my uh, NEMA set, uh, GPS location sentences to my DSC VHF radio. And so that's DSC enabled. I have the MMSI programmed into it. So now it's one press on that button on the radio and that will send uh, all of my boat, my personal information and my location to the Coast Guard or any other authorities that's listening or other DSC enabled uh, boats as well. So any case, plotters up uh, operational. I think we're done with most of the stuff on the the outside of the boat, some uh, tying up on the electrical, waiting for the radio, and um, we'll see how it goes.